Consistency, the reason I put this in is really important for me, okay? Because we've talked about this quite a lot, all right? We are what we train, and I think we have been what we've trained. We want to be a team that walks the walk, okay? Doesn't just talk the talk. We're not going to get everything right all the time. We've got an awful lot right so far. We've got plenty of things wrong, but an awful lot right. Last week we didn't get that first bit right. Let's, let's sort of make a commitment to ourselves. This week we will get that bit right. That was a really good session. I, I thought the attacking sets were really sharp. I mean, we looked really fast around the field. I don't think we made many errors. If the ball went down, it was generally because the defence was doing something really good. Or we made something really good happen in attack. So both sides of the ball, we put some really good work in. Good work, girls, good session. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. Okay. Welcome to Leicester. <laughs> So my roomie for the week this trip is <laughs> We're just in the lift going to our room and we'll give you a room tour when we get there. <laughs> oh my lordy! <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh comfy. <laughs> This week we've got two uh, big milestones. First up we've got Leanne Infante who's getting her half century 50 caps. What can you say about Leanne? I think competitor would probably be the, the ultimate word. I think knowing how hard she had to work to, to, to really establish herself in the team, to think that she's got to 50 caps sort of speaks volumes about her and about her desire to play and about her attitude of never giving up and being ultra competitive and it's a fantastic occasion for, for Leanne, it's thoroughly deserved. Uh, you know, she, she's battled for everything she's got and uh, she'll have a great game and, and hopefully she'll have a great day. And then we have the one and only Emily Scarrett who's getting her hundreds cap and what an absolute incredible journey that she's had and it's such an amazing milestone. I've known Scar since um, I think 2007, maybe 2006. We played under 20s together which is how we met um, and yeah, friendships just blossomed really. Who's the funniest? <laughs> she like steals my jokes to make her funny. I'm like, Scar, say this, this will be good. <laughs> just to get her in there. Hmm. No, Mo probably gets more laughs. <laughs> Probably. Probably. She does laugh a lot at herself though. But... <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. One of the best humans, like, has been one of my best mates since back then and can't speak highly enough of her really. What she's done in the sport, she's carved the way and I think she's set the standard the whole time that she's done it. So, yeah, she's, she's a great girl and it couldn't be happening to a better person. You know, you run out of sort of superlatives when it comes to scars. People who know her always want to talk about her as the person first rather than the player. And when you consider just what a player she is, that just says what sort of a person she is. Uh, you know, she's a pleasure to be around. If you want a considered opinion, she'll give you it. She's the least fussy person you could possibly imagine. Uh, and that's sort of reflected in the way she dealt with her. It was a horrendous injury at the start of the year and she's just got on with doing what she, uh, what she does, which is, uh, you know, the right things to get herself back on the field and then she gets back on the field and it's like she's never been away. Do you have any hidden talents? Show the world. Show the world what? Look. That's right there. <laughs> just happened. I didn't see it. Again. Don't do it she again. She can dance, what is it? Staying alive. No, put that back in, put that back in. I'm well enough already. Um, like so proud, honestly. I think, um, for me personally, like I've, I feel like I've been on the journey with Skaz for forever. Really, like to be back in the squad and to be there, like alongside her for this, um, really genuinely does mean the world. I feel like we've come full circle. We're roomies again. I'm so proud of the girl. Um, for you, Skazzy, just enjoy it. Like enjoy all of the love that comes your way because you really do deserve everything. She's making a wondrous appearance in the city 
that she was born in on the the, the, the occasion of the first time we're, we're playing at Leicester. I think it's just incredible. Written in the stars. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's Captain's Run Day, and we are going to breakfast. Woo. How did you sleep the night before your hundredth cap? That's tonight. Second night before your hundredth <laughs> cap. All right, average. Yeah. Um, we've all just been warned never to sit in Amy's seat. First up of our, our milestones, um, like Leanne, you haven't had the, the easiest of journeys to this point, not knowing whether you are a back three player, a scrum half, sevens, fifteens, but what we want in a red rose is people to keep fighting and keep putting their hand up and keep coming back for more and more and not just that come back and play consistently well and where you are now to where you started your journey has gone on and i know it's got more to come um so huge huge congratulations on your 50th cap enjoy every minute of tomorrow tomorrow it should be something you should be really proud of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now we get to, to our Emily um, <laughs> from Lesser Forest as a five-year-old to where you are now is been incredible. Um, I remember being at Litchfield uh, whoo, yeah, <laughs> um, on the back pictures and then being like, oh, we've got some... Uh, some young uh, under 18s coming up to train with us. Scars rocks up and literally just like wowed everyone. We're like, where has she come from? From that moment, always knew that you were gonna be a, a very, very special player. You did things and still do things that no one in the women's game has ever done or will probably be ever able to do. You like, you took the women's game and like took it into another level and you are one of the best that there's ever been and I think everyone can probably sit in here and, and agree with me on that. You want good players, you want great players, but you want good people and you're one of the best. Love rugby. <laughs> a massive crowd today, right? It's, it's going to be a, you know, another record crowd. So why are they coming? They're coming for one reason: to celebrate you lot playing, okay, and really get behind you and really get excited about how we play. Like we don't have to go outside our processes. We are what we are because of the way we train and we play. Stay disciplined. Because believe me, that is exciting to watch when we play it. It's not about off the cuff, it's not about doing stuff we don't do. It's about tempo, it's about going at them, going through the stuff we play. Get the crowd excited, bring the crowd back the next time we play. Yeah? Because we've come to see you Emily Scarrett leads out England on the occasion of her 100th cap. A World Cup winner, a former World Player of the Year. And it all started at just five years of age down the road at Leicester Forest Rugby Club. What a shot. Still moving. Try. And England on the score sheet in two minutes. All oh, Croft then is in there. It was Matthews who flew into the air to take it. There's Byrne with the ball at the back. At Welford Road, England 10, Ireland 0. Okay guys, just in with your units. 
We're going to have to go through. You're going to have to use footwork, evasion, fight. You're going to have to get through them. This game will start to open up, right? Because A, we're going after it. We know some bits that we can do. That extra snap, we'll get a faster ball. When it comes, we're alive, we're ready, and we finish. Okay? Keep your confidence. Keep your confidence. Be best of us, all right? Does that make sense? We've got them under pressure four or five times, and right? we've just let the pressure off because of little bits of detail and whatnot. Right? If we smarten them up and be patient in that area, okay, it will start to unfold. Yeah? So let's a little bit of patience, a little bit of accuracy, and just convert some of the pressure into points. Alright? Now, it's easy to stand here and say, it'll come. It'll only come if we work on it. Yeah? If we really, really focus on our processes. Everyone in this room, take a moment to think about what their job is in this second half. Right? What you have to do that's going to help us with this game plan. That punch, that carry, that clear, whatever it is, that's what your role is. Yeah? We execute our basics. World class basics, they can't live with us, yeah? We dictate how this game finishes, yeah? And that starts from minute one when we go out there. Everything about what we work for, yeah? Real actions, yeah? Let's go! Let's go! Davis there with the distribution out to Scarrett, then it's Cornbra, breaches there, support on her far side is Packer, who's built up a head of steam! Packer over! I don't quite know how to put it into words, but it's been amazing. Um, obviously, even from shirts last night um, through to today, it's probably it's not the sort of days that I crave, if I'm honest with you, in terms of the spotlight and stuff like that, but it's been amazing just to be here at home, so many friends and family here, um, and yeah, the sun was shining and the reception was unreal, so can't really ask for more. It was, yeah, pretty special.